remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Governor-elect in Delta State, Right Honorable Sharif Oborewari has promised to carry all Deltans along in his incoming administration regardless of their political affiliation. Right Honorable Oborewari made the pledge recently in Asaba where Delta State Executive Council members of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, paid him a courtesy visit. Ex-co members of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in Delta State, recently paid a courtesy visit to Right Honorable Sharif Oborewari, governor-elect in the oil-rich states. During the meeting, state's chairman of SDP, OK, Dawene, disowned his party's governorship candidate, Kenneth Bagi, whom he accused of filing a petition before the Delta State Election Petition Tribunal without conferring with state exco members of the SDP. Idawene used the occasion of the courtesy visits to declare his unwavering support for Right Honorable Oborewari. With the help of my plan financing, applied officially that we are not part of any litigation against your emergence. <laughs> this visit is calculated to tell the world that we did not do it in hiding. We do it to say that before SDP, there is a Delta State. <laughs> and that you are the governor-elect. In, in few days, you are a governor of Delta and not of PDP, but of Deltans. The entire ESCO here is saying in our meeting before we came here that everything we will do to ensure that Right Honorable Sharif Oborewari succeed in Delta, we will do it. In his response, Right Honorable Oborewari thanked Delta State ESCO members of the SDP for their display of love and support for his governorship ambition, promising that his government would carry all Deltans along in the scheme of things. I got the message that he want to come and pay a courtesy call. I was just taking is the normal courtesy call. But to say that the case that people have in court, that the party are no more interested, in fact, is something that uh, uh, they will never forget. And I want to also use the opportunity to attack all their terms. For the organic love because with all the opposition has done we are able to win 21 out of 25 local government it's only by the special grace of God and the victory is for all of us this government that is coming is for all of us and I want to serve you people I want to be a servant leader expectedly Idawena's open display of loyalty to Right Honorable Borewari has earned him a backlash from the SDP. In a letter dated 2nd of May 2023, the party affirms that chairman of his Delta State chapter stands suspended for engaging in anti-party activities. However, Idawene argues that his purported suspension is an act of illegality orchestrated by National Secretary of the SDP, Dr. Olu Agunloye, and Kenneth Bagi, whom he says was not prepared to govern Delta states. It is impossible for you to dissolve the state school because NWC did not sit for you to dissolve the school. The national chairman of the party, the NWC members, they are not aware of what he has done. As far as I'm concerned, the party in the state where where we are and we cannot fight our national but this is our stand we took the bold step to officially write to the tribunal that delta state sdp is not part of that case because one he was never ready for elections he didn't pay for agents he committed gross misconduct against the party he did anti-party activities with labor party and other parties and at the end, took over my state secretariat illegally for a man who doesn't have a conscience, cannot be governor of the other state. In the meantime, 
Right Honorable Borewori has formally inaugurated an 88-member transition committee to provide the groundwork for effective and efficient governance in the incoming administration. While inaugurating the transition committee, the Delta State Governor-elect reminded its members that they were saddled with the onerous responsibility of giving his administration a sense of direction from the outset. They have been part of this journey and understand that the incoming administration needs to start on a short footing. Their task is to put in place the necessary structures and means that will enable the incoming administration to effectively implement its policies and programs from the one. That the committee is expected to set short, medium and long-term targets administration and accommodate any other critical sector that may have been left out as it relates to the more agenda. Chairman of the Transition Committee, Professor Emmanuel Nwanze, assured the governor-elect that his team would produce a technical report that would guide the incoming administration in making governance more relevant to the needs of the people. We are going to look at the the principles you laid out and will put together for you sir, a technical report that not only that not only will aid you in commencing an administrative stage, in fact it will outlast the administration because it will become, it will become a focal reference for anybody who wants to work. And it will be at the end of your term be a pointer to the way to go. The Transition Committee comprises experienced civil servants, technocrats, representatives of civil society organizations, youths and captains of industry. It is expected to add value to the more agenda of Right Honorable Borewori, which seeks to achieve meaningful developments, opportunities for all, realistic reforms as well as enhanced peace and security in Delta states. Inside the Niger Delta, 